This is a Core 2 motherboard and yeah, it's a real, real antique. So junky that even the trashmen don't want to take it. But uh, there's still stuff you can do on here. For one thing, you can salvage stuff off of it. Now there's two types of things you can salvage off of a, a motherboard or a piece of electronics and the first one is mechanical stuff. So screws and then like this heat sink. This is a 65 watt heat sink and right now my my uh, 10 watt LED spotlight is overheating with the uh, current heat sink I have so I think I'm going to try this one with that. And then there are the electronic components. So let's do a close up and let's look at the different electronic components that we can salvage and that are worth salvaging off of here. There are things like this microphone and speaker jack you can take off of here. If I recall, there are six connections to unsolder them, including the ground. One, two, three, four, five, and then six is the ground. Um, but typically I don't do that. I mean, it's just not worth it. You can buy them too cheaply, but you know, if you're hard pressed for uh, money or for parts, those are good quality, relatively good quality jacks. Moving across the back side, uh, this is a serial connection. People don't use these anymore. I haven't recovered one in ages. Uh, USB and, and Ethernet jacks? Probably not. Okay, but now we're getting into some good stuff. There's some capacitors over here. Various values. Um, and these are always good. They're easy to take off. Two connections and you've got something there that you can use. Let's see, let's keep moving on over here. Obviously there's a heat sink right there. That's not a bad component. And there is a crystal if you like to play with uh, uh, electronic uh, high frequency stuff. You can get yourself a crystal right there. Okay, let's keep moving around. And... Uh, the sockets, I don't usually mess with. Uh, there's just way too many connections and I mean these are for memory and you know don't really need that anymore but here's something if you're into jewel thieves and what have you there's a nice uh, core and there's another one so if you're going to wind your own coils that's what you need uh, again some some capacitors and looks like those might be um, transistors Yes, giving it a close-up inspection, those are transistors, more capacitors, and as you can see, it's a really a good source of capacitors, uh, a uh, transistor. One day I hit the jackpot. What I thought were transistors actually turned out to be uh, LM317s, which are very small variable voltage regulators. Very nice to have around. Um, another crystal over here. I don't usually recover chips more capacitors, another coil, and another coil, and another coil, and a whole bank of transistors. I remember that from earlier. <laughs> another coil, more capacitors, a big capacitor back here. Let's rotate this around. So we already talked about this coil, but here's another coil. So right now I think we've got at least six coils on here. If so, if you're into uh, things like Jewel Thieves or radio frequency projects, a nice big capacitor you could use to tame electricity. Take spikes out of a circuit. Uh, we didn't talk about these two. Again, capacitors and holy cow, here's another one and another one. So two more coils, smaller one and a bigger one. And again, the color tells you what frequency they will resonate best at. More capacitors. A lithium battery holder, so if you need that. A capacitor, uh, that's, we already talked about that one. And then we're, we've covered the edges. And let's look at this. There's a switch. This is, I think, the memory reset, CMOS reset uh, switch. Probably for a password. And yeah, I think we've covered it. Let's make another quick check all the way around. Yeah, so this big socket here is where the is where the uh, processor went. I've already pulled one smaller 
heat sink off of here, which I guess I should have mentioned. And yeah, we've got it, uh, we got the rest of it pretty much covered. I went back and did a count on this. There are nine coils, cores, whatever you want to call them, 56 different capacitors at least. Uh, there's three heat sinks and uh, 21 different uh, transistors. So, uh, well worth your time to uh, strip these if you uh, need some spare electronic parts. So, with one, uh, one antique computer board that you couldn't do anything with, uh, you can sit in front of the TV set and start unsoldering these uh, different components, the coils, capacitors, and so forth, and you can have a real gold strike on here. Okay, I well, hope you found that useful and interesting in your future electronic projects.